Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nefo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Uh, what do we got? We got 10 pieces of coal. I'm going to take one of those. I really don't know why. Uh, we got four stems. I'm going to take them all. Um, we woke up in the middle of the night, so I repaired a bunch of the clothing. Uh, so we're all good there. Uh, we got water. We got food that's on the floor. That we have to grab. Uh, we got the bullets. I believe I have everything that I want to take except for food because I didn't want scent um, while I was standing here. So that's all good. We are day 257, and here's our skills. There we go. And we are mid morning. Uh. Let's do that. Let's actually leave one of those and we'll take that. Um, let's have a look. That's 10 minutes to get a piece of leather. What are your thoughts? Do I mean, I don't need to leave this. Right, I can take it and I can break it down, right? That's a chunk of leather that we could use. Oh, I hate that little lip right there. You can't get up there. Hey, Billy Wilson. Welcome, uh, welcome in. Howdy there, and I wasn't expecting to see you on. Heard you had a new schedule to adhere to and such. Yes, I have a job. So... Weekends and holidays are morning streams. I'm going to take that. Let's just go. Oh. We have that. That's bear, bear. You know what? I can take all those. How many arrows we have? We have 26. And... We're at 51. We'll, we'll see. Uh, you know what? We're walking okay. Let's not eat the pie. So yeah, even uh, or sorry, uh, little bunny. There you are. Um, weekends and holidays will be morning streams, and weekdays will be depending on when my hockey team plays. My favorite hockey team. Yeah, if I ever... I, I'm going to take that bag. I did take it, right? Yes, I did. Um, it's leather, which is highly valuable. And if I desperately need to make a moose bag, which I don't think I ever will, I do have moose hides all over the place. Well, in a, in a handful of places, so... We will just make one if, if we're desperate. Which will be almost never. And yeah, the the weekdays will be in the uh, the uh, the evening. Uh, weekdays I will stick to as close to two hours as possible. So maybe just a little under, maybe just a little over. And weekends and holidays. There's really no time limit, depending on how the stream is going and how I'm feeling. We could go, I mean, hypothetically, we could go all day. I don't care. I'll do it. <laughs> Across the log here. You'll have to keep a lookout for me when you're unwinding at night or catch the reruns. Uh, you know what you could do if you go onto my YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't know if you're on my YouTube channel or not. Hit the bell. And the uh, subscribe.
That way you don't miss anything. So what is our plan right now? It is... Uh, we're heading obviously back to Mountain Town. And... We will be... We're not spending too much time there because we've already done our gig out there. And we will be leaving via the basin. And if there's a moose down there, we might stay a couple of days. If there's not, we might just kind of walk right through uh, I have a stick no I don't I need at least a stick to start a fire and then from the basin we will go into the muskeg and do what we were doing here kind of wait for you know take out the predators wait for auroras uh, look for aurora caches or signal caches I guess you call them so we might be in the muskeg for a handful of days. And I did break down that lantern. Yes, I did. And in the muskeg, I think, I don't remember if I had a red tool box out there. If we do, we'll make some more arrows. We do have 26. So... We're not desperate for arrows right now, but if we have the ability to make some with the toolbox, I will only make them with the toolbox, uh, then we will do so. Twitch is being stupid for Murd. <laughs> You're not alone there, bud. <laughs> it's being stupid for all of us. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll be back here. Maybe we won't. Like I said, we're going to keep this run going until the update. Um, and try to, uh, try to, try to take advantage of the update items or whatever's brought in, in this run, rather than having to, uh, start from scratch and, uh, finally getting to the update stuff like a month after everybody else. That's tough. That is really tough, honestly. You know there's new stuff out there, but you don't have the ability to go get any of it. So, this run will go longer than, than the typical runs as of late. <laughs> uh, I think normally this run would be done by now. And I guess, I mean, the other thing, too, it allows us to check for the uh, signal caches, so. I've been having fun doing that. It's been interesting. Um, I'm going to say that, yeah, there's the odd cache that may not work for you, but they're also, they're trying to... Uh, appeal to everybody everybody uh, all different uh, types of players so sometimes you may get a cash and it may not be all that great for you but it might be actually pretty good for somebody else but so far we've had some pretty good ones with MREs and uh, what do you call those stims 
bullets if we ever choose to use a rifle in this run. We got two bars of sand. You know what? Let's, uh, one, these are all full. They're not full. Let's eat you up. We'll do that. All right, off to Grey Mothers to see what's in there. There shouldn't really be much in Grey Mothers because it's not really our base. Uh, then from there, we will go over to the farmhouse, the Barker farm. And... Down to the basin. So Ash Canyon or Forlorn Muskeg for signal cache is next. Muskeg. Let's go this way. I think the Muskeg will be interesting for the caches, like because like you, what somebody was mentioning the other day, like with the thin ice. might be interesting what the should you who'd you shout out and it didn't work yeah that was you Mer with the thin ice yeah I think it'll be interesting the, the thing with the caches too, you know what, it's uh, it's a good way to get people to actually explore the regions. If I remember correctly, there's several possible locations in each region and, and only a couple of them show up, two, maybe three. Which uh, helps for keeping things a little bit more random, right? But some of these things can take you to places that you don't normally go to. Which is never a bad thing. I like, I, I you know, overall, I mean, obviously the DLC had its issues. But the actual content in it. I don't have a problem with any of it. I think it was done very well. Uh, there's some things that you may not like, but they don't force you into using any of it. Like myself with the cooking. I don't like the cooking. I think it's too intricate in times and it's pain in the butt. But I am not forced to have to use it. And I like that. Interland has done very well with this, which is kind of why I hope this isn't the, 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 the final DLC. I hope there's another one. I think they could do another one, which is basically opening up the interiors of all the buildings that currently aren't open. Such as like the prison and the various locked doors uh some of the houses now the the problem with that also is that if they did do another dlc they would also add new items and then you know it might make the game too easy because now there's you have access to so many things and if they opened up every house like this one and and any other locked ones maybe you know, they'd have to spread out the loot instead of just adding more loot into there. Because you get it, you get, it's, it's kind of a fine line with balancing 
the difficulties. Yeah, 159. I don't need to fill my lantern, do I? Because, I mean, I have a little bit. Uh, we don't need tomato soup. We don't need you. We don't need you. Yeah, I don't think we need anything in here. Uh, we'll just go check. I think it's just cloth in here. Yeah, 29 of them. And we have six bandages. Where's our bandages? We have four. And they're both appearing where they're supposed to. Let's go. Using the elevator in the dam during an aurora. Yes, that should totally be a thing. Microwaves in an aurora should work as well. So yeah, adding, adding, uh, like uh, doing another DLC, it, they would have to kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be the same, uh, kind of DLC where it's like, you know, here's all these regions and here's all this equipment and here's all this food. You can do a small one, right? You know, charge five, charge like five bucks and just open up interiors. Um, make like, as you, as you mentioned, uh, Electric stoves, microwaves, uh, the elevator and the dam, make those all usable during um, the Aurora. And not every DLC needs to be massive like this one. So yeah, I hope uh, I hope after this final drop and then once story mode is out, I hope that's not the the end. I hope there's more. Today's word is hipponym. 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 Based on the the pronunciation. Hey pun him. Hey pun him. How do you get hey out of HY? There's like a whole letter missing from that. <laughs> hipponym. What is a hipponym? I'm calling it a hipponym. That's the way I would pronounce it. What if there was like a Tesla in every region <laughs> and during the Aurora you could drive around? More like hyponym. There you go. But what if I want to be hip? Somebody left some power here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Question, not statement. I, I don't know, yours work. What does it mean, Murd? What does it mean? You can't give us a word and then just not tell us what it means. Gotta tell us. You're good. We never used ours, did we? No, it's still at 100. Look at all this stuff. Um, oh, this is the stuff we have to take. I don't need to take uh, the burdock stuff. I don't even need to take the MRE. It's my choice whether I take it. Uh, just as it was my choice as to whether or not I used it. That's 
almost good there. Um, what do we got? What's our weight? 52. That's too much. We have 13 coal. I kind of want to take the coal. What else do we have? All right, that's like a kilogram of burdock, it looks like. I'll drop that. So we need to get down to 48 so we can take the rope. Uh, oh, Twitch stopped working. So that word uh, denotes a subcategory of a more general class chair and table are hyponyms of furniture interesting word murd oh there we go that's all we're doing we're just going to drop meat uh we'll drop it on the porch damn it why why i can't put it way over there if i have a bunch over here Come on, you should go right there. Whatever, be that way. And what's in you? Uh, you're 100. I wonder, what is my sewing kit now? 73? I'm going to swap it. And you're at 100. That's good. And I need my arrow shafts. I can't leave them. I need those. Uh, let's just go right there. And then we'll look. Three bandages. You know what I don't need? We can drop that. That's a little bit of weight. Um, I can probably leave two of the stems here. Uh, just a matter of where. Where can I leave them where I can still see them? That works. That's 52. Uh, definitely if I drop the meat, we should be okay. I think so. I don't also, I don't need five maples, cured maples. Um, I took them. I'm going to pick all these up so that they all go in one pile. I took them because there's nothing we can do with them out there in HRV, but we can do stuff with them out here. Um, I could possibly, you know what, let's just go. I could be, I could be here all day. All right, I will take the carry pies though. Uh, where are we eating? Um, uh, Damn it. <laughs> I forgot. Eat the pie. 50. I'll drop one more. There we go. We are good. Once we get to the rope, we'll be able to eat a pie. And we'll be good. Merd's having all kinds of issues. Watch, you'll be here for the entire stream and then it'll tell you that you lost your streak tomorrow <laughs> or on uh, Wednesday. How infuriating would that be? You can watch the stream, but chat keeps stopping and then going blank. That's weird. We we had a weird situation the other day here. Our internet stopped working. Kind of. It was working on my computer because I'm hardwired. The modem had a white light, which it's red when that uh, goes out. 
Um, it was that day. It was two days ago, I believe, when we were having a little bit of issues on the stream. But we couldn't get Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi just completely stopped, which meant our TV didn't work. And our phones were both on 5G. And we didn't understand it. Like, well, how come I don't get it? Right? <clears throat> and of course, you know, the beautiful cable company. You've done nothing. Everything worked properly, and now it doesn't. And what displays on your television? Check your cables. There might be a loose one. <laughs> they instantly think that they're going to pin the blame on you instead of accepting any responsibility for their, their service, right? It's not us. It's you. I don't think my cable can ever become loose because the technician that hooked it up used a wrench to tighten them. Just have a peek in here. All right, there is absolutely nothing, and we are fully warm, so let's just continue. for a couple of days. This is the question. I honestly wouldn't mind if there was a moose here. There's the markings. And there'll be some birch bark. If there isn't a moose here, I don't really want to hang out and just kind of like, uh, I'll kill the two wolves and we'll twiddle our thumbs. I don't know if they would put a signal cache down here. I don't know if there was, I don't know that you would get a signal up top to tell you that there was one down here or if you would actually have to be down here. Uh, I think it's close enough to night that we'll spend the night here. There's the moose. We got a moose. That answers all the questions right there. And we got a piece of birch bark. All right. Hopefully our aim is true. See if we can one shot this guy. Oh, look at you right there, bud. Lift Jed. Lift Jed. Oh. Well, at least I didn't miss. Pretty sure I've missed from this spot before. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot, I think. I agree with you, Murd. 
I was worried about aiming there too because I thought, oh man, am I going to hit his antler? You know what would be awesome is if you could just thread the needle through here, but <laughs> you know it would hit the hitbox. Uh, I think my best course of action is to just sit here and wait. Um... There's some birch bark down there. Uh, I believe we're safe on this ridge. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll just kind of wait. Do I have a rock? No, why would I have a rock? Why? Why would I? Rocks are for chumps. I wish I had one. Yeah, I'm warm here too. Ooh, ooh, hey, look what we can do. We can uh, try and summon Darth. There we go. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We will take both of y'all. Uh, there's two bushels there. If there was another bushel. I wonder. I'm going to have a look if there's any. Anything behind this. There is some birch trees. Maybe. Oh, there's more. Oh, look at you. Who would have thunk they would throw a chunk of. Chunk of wood back here. Oh, there can be a fire striker where that cedar was? Really? Wow. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'm not sure I've ever really come up into this little area. I probably maybe have, but I don't know. Probably maybe have. That's my that's my language. Ultra rare though, yeah. How far is he? Is he any closer? Oh, he's, he's right there. This is the problem is like, you could be waiting here for a while. And I don't trust shooting between these trees because it wasn't that long ago when I tried hitting what was I aimed at? A deer? In Upper Bleak? <laughs> and all three of the arrows were stuck in the air. In 10 runs, you got it twice. Once on a custom run, once in your stalker run. Always. I'm going to wait for him to get a little bit closer. And what all do we have? Oh, we can do this. That'll kill 10 minutes. I'm crouched. He shouldn't have seen me. I don't know what happened there. Ah, yes, the magic arrow is good spell. Yeah, I, I'm... Well, luckily he didn't run too far, but he's he's still kind of at the distance he was before we crafted the birch. I don't want to... I don't want to take a shot from here because I'll probably miss... See? Oh, I hit him. Got a moose, got a moose. Will you do the fandango? Alright, I 
fired three arrows. Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! And I got one. Two. Uh, if I can drop any of this gear. There we go. We got all of them. So I guess I hit them twice. The first and last shot. What is the time? Should we even... What is it? Damn it. It's plus four. Let's, uh, let's go to... Uh, I guess let's actually look for some more birch bark while we're out here. And gather sticks. And go to our cave. Are we staying? I believe we're gonna stay in the cave. I think that's the best place. Uh, what do we, have? we have two bars of scent, so we shouldn't have too much issue bringing out the wolves that are in here. But where are they? That deer over there is looking pretty confident. This big fat juicy buck right there. some sticks while we go up here you know the reason when I make a fire I'm gonna I'm only gonna really want to use one piece of coal all right let's go drop some weight in here oh look at that we got coal I wouldn't be angry if they stacked one of these pieces as well nope okay let's uh let's drop that we'll drop all of these ones with them I don't know where outside is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure outside will be right around here. I'll drop that. Uh, harvest that arrow. Well, knife will miss the coal. Let's see the coal he missed. Where did I miss coal? I did I actually walk right by that one, or did they spawn in after? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I don't need uh, all this coal. We can drop eight. Uh, drop that. I walked right by it. Unbelievable. Alright, you know what we need down here? We need... Uh, how you say rock cash that's what we need let's drop those we're not going to need those for a while 
Let's drop all those. That's all in big pile now, right? Yeah. Drop those. Drop you. That's really all I can drop. I mean, I, I can't really drop a bunch of feathers and such, right? I'm not dropping all of my, uh, my arrow shafts. Well, that moose ain't going anywhere for a while. <clears throat> That moose ain't going anywhere for a while, so while we still have a bit of sunlight or daylight, whatever you want to call this light, um, let's try to get some s enough rocks to make a rock cache. I don't know the rock situation in this region. Uh, we'll do it with our scent. Obviously, we only have one bar now, but uh, if that helps bring wolves, then all the better. And there's no bears down here, right? That's like literally there's one or two, one or two wolves, I think. That's it for predators. And these ferocious little rodents right here. Are they rodents? I think they are. They're cute. I don't care what they are. That's what it is, just a couple wolves for the predators down here. Yeah. The biggest threat is already out. He's laying down. Let's go up here. As Murd points out, it's the seventh time I've said that, and I will say no, it's not, because I've never been to this area seven times. It might be the third time. I don't use, I don't come to the basin very often. And you know what? I don't know why. I think it's basically because, well, oh, hey, what are you? Can you actually get by? You should be able to, right? Is that a chunk of wood by the tree? And a sapling? Random can of sardines. Oh, that is not a piece of wood. That is two pieces of wood. I don't think I've come up here in any run. I probably have, but I always say I don't think I have, but I'm pretty sure I usually at this point, I'm pretty sure I've been to almost every place that you can go to in the main maps. Maybe not in the newest ones. Uh, it just may be a long time since I've been to a place that I don't remember being to that place. But yeah, I don't use the basin a whole lot. And I don't know why, because you have to take ropes to get out the other direction as well. So it's not like, oh, I have too much weight, so I can't take it. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. 
Hello, look at you. Oh man. There's a whole little area up here. What is up here? It looked like there was something there. Oh, and there's another bedroll. There's a fire. We have a Polaroid. Hey bud, I was up and about the other day. Finally got all the way up above Milton near the tower up there. Oh, wow. This is where that Polaroid is. Peaches and cloth. Some cedar and some fur. Is this some kind of magic uh, wind blocked area? It doesn't, I don't think it is. But maybe. Oh boy. That could be a a bad death. Uh, there's a couple of nooks in the basin. One is only accessible when you go from in between the rope up and down area from Mystery Lake to Mountain Town. So that is yet another little piece of evidence that goading is actually totally cool with Hinterland. In my opinion. Well, it's almost bedtime and we're almost tired. What did we get for rocks? Probably not even close. We got nine. We need 41 more. odds of finding those out here well there's right here so what is that 38 now I think I might want to be a little bit careful right now because uh, this could turn nasty And I don't know the basin very well. Like, not, not well enough to be finding my way in a blizzard. I may have done it in the past. It doesn't mean that I was good at it. <laughs> I probably just put myself in a situation where I didn't have a choice. already we haven't really even explored we just did this little area I think we won't have too much trouble finding 50 rocks I definitely want a rock cache in there though we have some items that have weight that I definitely do not want to be throwing on the ground Speaking of which, I don't need to be carrying two bows. Uh, that one's at 33, and this one's at 67. It's going to be a long time. Actually, you know what? It's not going to. It's going to pull that one out first. Mm -hmm. You made a path 
with the cattail tender. From the broken hut to the cave. That's sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder. Smart idea. Come with me. We are magic. That's right, we just walked through a wall. I wish I could use the, the, the moose hide satchel. Why is it wet? You can't get wet. You stay dry. Now it's worse. <laughs> What kind of cave is this? It's got a roof. Ah, where's all the wood? Let's put you right there. I'm gonna keep the fur separate. Right there. Uh, Murd wants a stretch. I wish there was a way to drop a single stick. Because I would just use the sticks to make a path. Uh, I don't quite want to go to bed yet. It's not quite time. Oh, look at you. Head in this direction. Oh. Oh. There you go. Thanks, Mary. Visibility down here sometimes with the snow. That's what scares me is because I don't know this area well enough. It is heavy snow. These are those big beautiful flakes. And there we go. Let's Let's just play it safe and go back. Uh, main reason is because we're walking against the wind. Now we're running against the wind. <laughs> See, I was kind of hoping. This is kind of, but... Yeah, if I go too far, it's indoors. So I think I'll make the fires over here. What's our water like? It's okay. Wait. It's so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Okay. 
right, and these are all birch, so we'll throw the ones down that we just found. Throw you. Sorry for the darkness. Actually, I'm gonna, because I don't know what this cave looks like inside, I wanna make sure that, uh, I'm in my favorite spot. Alright, and... We will fill the belly, drop the scent. Whoops, lazy finger. Do that. Go to bed. All right, we're not uh, fully rested. Let's do two more hours. Pick that up. Fill the belly again. Now, hmm, what to do now? Um, I'm torn. I'm torn because honestly, I want to get rid of some of this weight, but I can't without getting rid of that. I can actually drop you though. I want to harvest the moose, but I also want to get a cache made, uh, a rock cache. Yeah, three deer over there. Uh, if we go harvest the moose, we're kind of going to burn the whole day. Let's not be foolish, though. I think let's just go get the moose, yeah. He's still there. I can see him. Right there. Yeah, let's not mess around. We don't, I mean, if he, if he ends up disappearing on us, how do we complain at that point? Degradation and such, I don't know how that works. We saw that bear that we did the other day. We don't want to run into that situation where we can't throw any of the meat into the sled. But that doesn't mean I can't look for rocks whilst we walk towards him. Uh, will we get a nice little wind block right in there? And will it be close enough? Uh, where are you right there? Is any of this meat going to be okay in there? Yeah, it will be. Let's do that. Uh, we have a wind block here. If I make the fire up here, like, will it allow me?
you missed what after you went to sleep? What did you, what did you miss? Oh, dang it. Now. Me getting the bear. I hope I got it. I'm not going to lie. I was actually wondering. I'm pretty sure I got the second bear. In HRV. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Yes, I did get the second bear because I had issues with the fire constantly blowing out. Yeah. We got an hour and a half on there. For Merd, we'll take 13. Oh, you missed me getting both of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Be sure to like and comment, please. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Um. It sounds really windy, but we're not seemingly not at any risk of having this fire get blown out, so. Can I get the whole 15? I don't remember what. No, I can't. I can take 13. like this that I kind of wish I brought some of them sticks. I don't want to throw a piece of coal on there. And grab like 10 sticks. Ooh, I'll take that too. I will not pass that up. How many did I get? I got four. Well. Oh, we got a deer up there. We'll have to go get that deer up there too. Let's just... Throw that. That's an hour. Uh, what is... Uh, we got 40 minutes. Let's do that. Six. Let's go try and find some more sticks. And we'll grab the rocks. This is a great day right now. I don't want to jinx it, but how do you complain about that? 
When you got nothing in the sky but the sun. Uh, where are we at? Well, we only need 20 more. Uh, I haven't given up on the moose. I'm still semi looking for sticks. It feels like three, you know what? That fire really only has to last as long as that meat that's currently on it. The wind is pretty tame right now. So even if, as long as it cooks that meat that's on it, that should be good. We got 37 minutes. Let's do that. Copper's eating cookies. <laughs> it cooked. We got 18 minutes. We don't care about that anymore. We will throw. Oh yeah. Thirty-five minutes. You found your perfect recipe? Nice. Alright, we got everything. We're we're good there. Uh, let's grab some meat. Get that belly filled up. Let's do that. Oh, she was just, a, I was going to say, let's do that before she starts yakking about how thirsty she is and how she yearns to drink her pee. And just as I was about to click on it, as she was about to start, Okay, let's just leave that there for now. Let's go get the... Uh, let's get this deer. Primarily because we need the hide. Uh, I'm going to try and take uh, any deer hides that are around. Take any usable meat, which is one kilogram here. I will not take the guts. Well, that's good, Copper. We should have a cookie date. If you ever come to Alberta, we'll just eat cookies. Because I can eat, like, you can eat your three, and I'll eat, like, nine. <laughs> I was going back to the moose. I can't hide it. <laughs> hey, Rem, welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, you go in there. You're only at 40. All right, we'll take this to the cave. So we don't have to yank the sled around and we'll head back out. I can use the sled temporarily as a container. I'm going to see how far inside the cave it'll let me go with it. And I can throw like, uh, you know, the, the arrow shafts and the, the feathers and such in there and maybe even the rocks that we're currently carrying because they add up i will also stop right here and grab these two all right let us go Yeah, Safeway Bakery cookies, chocolate chip. I can, I can just, 
I can die eating those things. It's like I'll eat them until I just can't, you know? Let me in, please. Oh, come on. When you, there's there's lots of space. It's just you got a lip at the entrance that I can't get over without coming from an angle. Let me in. There we go. There we go. Let's drop that right there. Yeah, that's that's like three quarters of a kilogram right there. I'll throw all of you in there too. Why not? I don't care. I'll do it. Let's do that. Uh, Y'all can go in there. 34 rocks. So we need 16 more. That shouldn't be too long. I'm going to just dump what I don't need. Why is it this way? That's the way it's supposed to be. I thought it was inverted. Uh... That's all good. Let's throw those in there so Darth thinks that we've deserted the cattails. All right, it's all good. I need five. Um, food, work. You know what? Who cares? Let's go. We need 16 rocks. You're gonna make your dad some sugar-free chocolate chip ones. You'll let me know how it goes. Okay. Yeah, I love cookies, but not a whole lot. You know what else I love? I love those maple, the, the cookies in the shape of the maple leaf. I like those. They are good. Two bucks. Two bucks and a dough. I am guessing there is no wolves down here because we we had enough scent that we should have attracted a wolf. Uh, these deer are all just chilling. They don't seem to have any worries. We should pull a merd though and just like pick a bunch of cattails and lay out the uh lay out the cattail heads. That's that is one thing I wish though is that there was a a button that you could assign like what you're dropping with that button. Um I honestly don't even know if any game really has that, but that I can think of, but it would be a cool feature. Cause then I could be like, hey, I have lots of sticks. I want to make a path, but I don't want it to take two years of my lifetime to do. So I will just assign sticks to that button and drop them whilst I walk. Or maybe it's cattail heads. Maybe it's Tinder itself. Who knows? All right, we needed 16. We got nine, so we only need seven more. All of a sudden, we need four, and there's three right there. Oh, there's four. So looking at the notes, I am up to seven moose, yes? Uh, can you, yeah, I can see merge chat. Sometimes I ignore him. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> there we go. That is 16. Yeah. Uh, moose, we are at seven. Yeah. And 33 bears, 388 wolves. Which we're on day 258. There's a wolf. We got a wolf. Astrid, how's your arm? Uh. 
There you go. Good job, Astrid. Did he seriously just turn around? Come on, dude. Here, I'm right here. You want to do this? this? Let's go. Didn't even see it coming. Look at that. Who did that merge? Hey, merge the only one who has the points to do that on a regular basis. <laughs> All right, we can go back. I'm gonna go back this way though. I want to go. Uh, we'll check. Go check the the broken cabin. See what might be over there. Oh, I'm such a fool. I should have. I mean, it's, what's 10 minutes going to do, right? But I should have grabbed the uh, the guts and hide out of the sled. Dropped them on the floor. Uh, yeah, we'll just go to this broken hut right now. And we we might stay here for a day or two more. And do a like I I kind of want to stay here until we have an aurora just to see if there might be a cache down here that doesn't register unless you're actually down here. Somebody left their stuff. I think I got everything in there. Did I miss this? Apparently I did. Wow, look at that. Well. Yeah. What is that? That's 15 kilograms. You are 15 kilograms. The only problem with here, you got you have to make a fire. It ain't gonna blow out. But you have to make a fire. Uh you do have what like a total of 60 kilograms you can store without having to build a rock cache but that's the kicker you gotta you, you need a fire there and i don't want that oh can we yes I swear this better come into effect on the next DLC drop hinterland make this a thing for the fishing because fishing sucks in its current state make it so that this thing comes out regardless of whether it's good or bad and then we can just walk let's just pretend it's red right now that's this is how it should operate This is the proper way for this to operate. Because you know why? Because it works this way with fires too. I mean, obviously I can place a fire. But even if I'm in a spot where I can't, it'll let me drag that fire until I get to a spot where I can. That's how you make people not want to punch their screen. Know what I'm saying? It's almost easier to get into this place by going through the wall. Give me my rocks. Give me my rocks. And seriously, make make these rock caches. There's absolutely no reason why I can't build one indoors. I think that's foolish. Is 
Is there a, 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 a beautiful way and an ugly way? Let's do that. Right there. So now we can pick up all of our stuff. These things can all go. I'm going to leave you. Uh, what else do I want? Oh, I guess I want everything in here. Um... You guys can all go down right here. Is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, shut up, Astrid. That's uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. The the Kevin Costner one. Uh, what's his face? I forget. Oh, why do I not remember? I used to always watch that show. Robin Hood, like when I was a kid. Somebody says something and he says like, oh, shut up. I just love that. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I don't need to carry that around. Uh, let's save our bow. Yeah, the arrow, there's the arrow shafts. Duh. Okay, I gotta get rid of those. You guys can go in there. Um, nothing in there. You'll not come out for a while. Neither will you, honestly. And wood can go inside here. Alan Rickman. Yes, 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 yes. That is the man that says that line. I find it's a great way of telling somebody to shut up in a joking fashion. As long as you let them know like, oh, it was a line from Robin Hood. I'm not actually telling you to shut up. <laughs> Uh, you just gotta know who you're saying it to though, so they don't get angry anyways. Alright, then you will drop 10 of you. What do I have now? Oh, hides and guts. Almost like you watched that movie a lot. See, that's like the only Robin Hood I like. I don't like that other one. Men in tights or whatever. I think that's stupid. I think they ruined it. But... The Kevin Costner one I like. Um, Alright, I gotta drop this food. But I also don't know... Maybe I'll drop it at the mouth of the cave because that way... I'm sure to walk past it. And it's a lot harder to actually forget it. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I'm not putting it by my fire so it doesn't start cooking whilst I'm there. Hear a weird sound after you build your fire. You're not really sure what that sound is. All of a sudden you find out your peaches were opening and being destroyed while you were warming your toes. Alright, we need some water, but I will not complain about... The indoor outdoor fire thing. Y'all know how that works. I don't. Let's do that. Let's throw all those in there because that's like one and a half kilograms just of weight of that. And oh, yeah, right. You have to go in there. And I wasn't going to throw. Right, 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 right. I don't need to carry these. I don't know why I'm throwing everything in here. What the hell? Let's do that. I want to explore more. We have a bow. Uh, I don't see it necessary as like to go after the deer. Yeah. 
You like the Men in Tights version, but you love Carrie Ells. Elwes. So I, I I hate his last name for one because I don't know how to pronounce it, and no, uh, I didn't like that movie. There's anything up this thing. Well, I guess we just <clears throat> I guess we just go into all the little nooks. <laughs> you get upset when people tell me they haven't watched and or don't like the Princess Bride. You have a collector's edition of the book. I, I don't I don't know if I like Princess Bride or not. It just never looked like it was my kind of movie. I'm weird because I love like I, I don't even know if it's a comedy. I'm just saying in general. Um, I love comedy like comedians like stand up comedy. I don't like movies that have comedy in them because I find they typically I can see the jokes coming a mile away and they're lame in a lot of cases sometimes sure I'll laugh but I've sat through several several comedy movies that people said were hilarious with a straight face. I like when jokes are thrown in in situations they don't belong in. They come out of the blue and it's just like, you know, you weren't expecting it. It doesn't even have to be like, like the greatest joke ever. It's just the fact that they threw one in there in a dark moment. It's like, oh man, that was hilarious. That's that's kind of me. The, I, I Bull Durham and my cousin Vinny are pretty much the only comedy movies that I'll watch. And I, I I hate to really admit this. I really hate to admit this. Um, the wife was watching. Uh, Pitch Perfect. She was having a little marathon one night. And I was bored of being in my computer room, so I was sitting there watching it. And as much as it pains me, because I can't even tell you, like I would have to be an octopus to have as, to have enough hands to tell you how many times I thought that movie would be so stupid or those movies. It pains me to say this, but the heavy chick was hilarious. I don't know who she is, but oh my gosh, she was so funny. She made that movie that movie bearable for me. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. <laughs> I like how Murd. Oh, if you start reading Terry Pratchett at work, <laughs> who reads at work? Or is that like a thing? Is that like the name of a funny thing? I don't know. I, I think it's time to head back. Uh, let's run, kill off some of this alertness. We're gonna go, I, we'll make a fire and get some water on the boil. I don't even know what type of movies I like these days though. I used to like horror movies, but horror movies these days are too much about showing you like let's let's one up the last movie and just like show even more gore. And like I like old school horror movies where you had to use your imagination on a lot of things. Just cuz you splattered the camera with fake blood doesn't make it scary. And I also like it when they have like realistic uh, figures 
If you show me a unicorn running away that was killing everybody, I'm like instantly done. Like, okay, yeah, well that was stupid. But if it's some guy that lives in the woods, that's a little different. Cause that could happen. I would do anything for a drink right now. Uh, drink your pee, Astrid. It's all yours. Should give you a heat buff too. <laughs> uh, damn it. I need to, I don't, I can't see the nooks. I gotta do this. Um, uh, yeah, I don't like this because uh, take your wet butt and get over there. Um, I'm gaining temperature. Even outside, so I don't fully know where I'm inside and outside. I believe we established that this area should be... I'm going to do that. Oh, you come back over here. I'm going to move you to there. Okay. That should work. Oh, damn it. You couldn't hang on to two sticks? <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't even realize they were right under me. Let's try this again. Merge read 17 books in 16 days. Come on, little fire. One thirty-two. Well, that's it's an outdoor fire, so that's. Oh. And please make that go to the wheel, please, Intelin. Please. Let the handle on that default outwards, please. Instead of right into the flames. I'm gonna make this one too. Uh, what did I want to do? You are. You shouldn't disappear because you can turn into cloth. And I, yeah, I really don't understand why that thing was getting wet. Uh, I could build another fire, but I don't want to. Uh, let me go in here and just see if there's anything. Okay, I can make the, 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 the birch bark. Probably actually even uh, drink or f or sorry, cook one. Oh, that's what I wanted to do actually. I wanted to get rid of five of those just because. And we have four bandages, yeah. All right. We don't need to carry those. There we go. All right, eight till melted. Uh, we don't have much choice. We're just gonna do this. Uh, we don't have any clothing that needs to be repaired aside from leather items like 94, 95. We don't, we're not repairing that. Um, let's do that 21. I think it was four exactly. So we need an hour 20. Well, we don't even need an hour 24. Whatever these two sticks give us, that's what we need. That should be more than enough. I'll pick you up. I think it was eight. And we have enough that we can take this. And uh, you're at three. Put our bedroll down at least. Uh, 
just throw you. Oh, we do have meat on us. Okay. Let's do that. I think we'll go to bed now. I think we should wake up early morning. Um, I'm not taking chances though. Litter bug knifeo, really? You gonna? Here, I'll be crazy knifeo. I will sleep with a lit torch. There we go. All right, we do that. Harvest that. Eat that. And, uh, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to actually take my break right now. All right, we're back. Uh, we need to drink. Let's drink. And what is our weight? 33. We don't really have anything that we can't. I mean, we can drop some water, obviously. Oh, XM wants coffee time. Fine, be that way. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, it's full. It's shaking. Okay, hold it. There we go. Thanks, XM. I didn't choke this time. I think Murd might have missed that one yesterday. Uh, yeah, we don't. We we can go. Ooh, let's go. See. <laughs> Where, where is a good spot to go fishing in this region, Murd? Yeah. XM choked me out. That's twice now. My very first coffee time was uh, when Murd choked me out. <laughs> You fished near the hut. I'm just wondering, like, is there a, a little nook that's wind blocked nicely? Where we could possibly get a fire. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> The wind is coming from, I believe it's coming from behind. Um, I don't know that the grass actually blows in the direction of the wind. It might. Yeah, it's, I think it's coming from in front of us. This might be a good spot. Damn it. <laughs> Might not be. Enterland probably purposely went in and checked and said, nope, they can put a fire there, no fishing. Because, like, yeah, if you could get right close to the rocks, why not, right? But I guess in real life, this might be pretty shallow. Um, not necessarily though, right? People cliff dive all the time. All right, let's just try over by the hut. Hmm. 
We'll see if we can't increase our fishing skill just a little bit. We do, we only have a couple of hooks. We have three, yeah, three fishing tackle. Um, I do want this out though, just so I can see because there might be an opportunity around these rocks. Uh, even if we don't have a fire, like just to get a wind block and maybe, you know, sometimes a wind block itself is enough to allow you to gain temperature. What is the temperature? It's minus nine. I don't think a wind block's going to do that for us, but... Yeah, I guess over by the hut. You were using fish and tip up so that the hut worked nice for you. Um, what do I need? Probably guts, right? Uh, oh, I need scrap metal and two sticks and cloth. Sure, getting cold. Oh. Alright, we'll see. I didn't bring any scrap metal. And I don't have a, a hacksaw to uh, acquire any. Even if there was. Hmm. Almost gaining temperature. I wonder if I repaired my socks. Will that increase? Oh, and you need a workbench to make it. Okay, there. That's enough to. Uh... Oh, hey, we're not even. Oh. I didn't see the the wind block symbol there, so I thought maybe we were warm enough to be outside. Well, uh, yeah, this fishing thing definitely needs some revision. Maybe it doesn't have to be revised the way that I want it, but at the very least, the ice color should tell you where you can and can't go i'm gonna try and go over here see how close we can get right there We'll do that. I'm going to have to... I'll check the wind and see if I can get a fire. Oh, it's minus 14 on the wind. Maybe we get... Oh, there. We got lucky. It warmed up. We got one. All right. Um, actually, I was hoping for some meat, but I guess we don't need meat for a while. Let's do that. Come on, fish. Well, aside from not actually catching fish, <laughs> this is going all right, right? Um, we're losing now. Oh, now we're really losing. Okay. Oh, damn it. I had meat. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. Let's go.
Well, luckily the wind is blowing from behind. So we can get back quicker. Um, I think it's this way. I think it's around this. Nope. Still a little bit further. Right there. Well, we got a couple of fish. Not a lot, but we got a couple. Uh, I'll take a chunk of coal just because I think we're going to need it. Fishing went up a hair. All right. I wonder if I throw more sticks. What will we get? Yes, we got two arrows. Two arrows is better than one. Let's, you know what? Let's, uh, that's an hour. I'm not going to break that down right here, but you are gone. That has minor vitamin C. Looks like we'll get them both. The two more the do two miners make a moderate? Uh what are we doing? 41, 27. Well, hopefully tomorrow is a nicer day. I want to do that. I'm going to speed it up. Hopefully tomorrow is a nicer day. Maybe we can get some more fishing in, in that same hole. that one. That was a uh, point one. All right, that's all the moose. We'll leave that one right there. Actually, I can probably see it better there. Thirty-eight minutes. Uh, you're at 87. You're 54 minutes. Yeah, it's not worth it. Whatever. The wind sounds a little like singing. <laughs> what kind of music you listen to, Copper? <laughs>
Do that. We'll get. I think this is the last meat we'll cook. And uh, maybe we'll do up the herbal. Uh, sorry, the uh, birch bark. So we can have two. And. Yeah, it should be fine. Like a choir humming or something. It could, yeah. Right, 38. There's really nothing we can do. Except for maybe that. That goes up by five, so that takes that to a hundred. Uh, yeah, nothing else that we can do. So, I guess we'll forward it. We might get two rounds of water. Might. And because of this, I can't break that down. I think after this one is done, well, we still have to do that because that's only 42 minutes. What's the time? Oh, it's bedtime. Oh, wait. Uh, birch bark. Let's get you going. And we'll do this. Do we have any meat? No. Take that. We'll go into the back of the cave and go have a nap. Lots of water on us now. Perfect timing. Oh, and I thought the storm was over. Is this a new one? Can't fish in weather like this. I was genuinely thinking, wow, this couldn't have worked out any better. Um, uh, okay. It was kind of annoying me that this one's sticking over a little bit, and so was that one. That's better. That works. I don't need to see the entire thing. There's enough of it showing that it's good enough. Hit <laughs> pause to draw breath. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Um, well. It's only one arrow up in here. Am I risking my run by not sleeping with a fire? I think we're good. Okay, now we got lots of cloth. 13 murd. Uh, 
cloth items. Do I want to waste it? That's point two. May as well. That's only point one. Uh, I think it's pretty steep price. If it's only going up by point one to use two pieces of cloth. Uh, we will not ever really repair this unless it gets, you know, down in below 50 or so. That. Let's just do it. There we go. That's up to three. Yeah, we're just kind of like, no, 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 no. What can we do? We can't do anything. I mean, the only thing we can really do is, uh, go over here and stack water. We'll use that line. That's horrible. It's close enough. There we go. All right, seriously, go away. Is there anything in here I can look at at least? Um, nothing that we can do anything with. I have one piece of cloth in there, really? Let's do that. We got two pieces of leather. We really can't do anything with anything. Um, yeah. Well, the only one thing we can do poor board knife. Oh, yes. Here's here's what my hope is. Maybe we'll get lucky because we're going to basically have this storm the entire day and have a whole bunch of alertness. Maybe we'll get lucky. There we go. Maybe we'll get lucky and get an Aurora tonight. The game owes it to us. Do that. We'll take this one because it's kind of out of... I want to make sure I'm staying in the warm area. I'll possibly steal one of those waters. That one. Let's go. All right, we should not get a storm tonight. We should hopefully get an Aurora. We're actually not even losing 10. Look, it's plus seven. I don't want to make a new haul. Although we kind of have to anyway. So why not just make one right here? I'm going to crouch because sometimes it helps. I keep wanting to go down to that craft tackle thing. <laughs> Give me a fish, damn it. This is prime fish fighting. Look at you. We got a wee fish. Oh, it's dark. Oh, 
Dude. Yes. Oops, let's go up the right way. I called it. I got lucky by calling it though. I was just more or less hoping. Let's drop the fish. That's a little provocative. <laughs> Stick with your own. Uh, let's do that. And it's too early so far. I didn't hear any crackle. I'm assuming we will. can I do for I mean it can always just go fish for an hour and we'll know where's my hole where to go I think it went further this way didn't it look at that Actually, let's do this. I thought I was somewhere around there. Where'd the hole go? Unbelievable. You would think it would be pretty easy to find, wouldn't it? I thought it was just over in this area. There it is. Oh boy. One hour. You think we'll catch a fish in an hour? That would be amazing if we did. I didn't think so. All right, let's go. Now it still didn't make the crackle. We should have heard that sound of it just turning it on, right? I would have thought. Uh, let's go look for some birch bark. The moose despawned. That's too bad. Well, I'm not seeing any birch bark. That's not, uh, that's not cool. Whatever, we'll go over here down the hill and turn. I'm, I'm not entirely convinced, but like, I always thought it was like the first hour of the Aurora. It's not powerful enough for ever, you know, powering items. But we fished for an hour, so it should be powering or allowing for a signal. And I thought... It usually gives you an indication that, yeah, now is the time that you can actually go looking. I'm gonna go in here. Why not? Is that a deer? Oh, damn. There's a truck over here, too.
No, I don't have a clue if there's a cache down here. I'm hoping there is, but I don't really have a, a clue if there is. Ooh, we'll take that. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping there's a cache down here. I don't know that there is. Um, I think down here would be a great spot to throw one. But like I said, we haven't even heard the sound to indicate that we can use the radio. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But surely enough time has passed that if there was a signal, we would be able to catch it. Um, luckily, it's not a very big area, so it's not going to take too long to do a loop. means that uh, in the morning we can leave we'll have done what we wanted to do out here we got a moose we'll have checked for a cash really nothing else we can do One bar of scent. Oh, damn it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's eat that. Oh, I'm an idiot. No oh, stomach. Oh, it hurts. Oh god, it hurts. I am such a fool. cooked meat that I had on me that I hadn't finished. Um, Come on. Come on. I need rose hips. Take two of them because you're an idiot. Ah oh, man. Get out of my pocket. Well. Did I say I hate being cold? Because it really. Oh, it's not rose hips, it's reishi. <sighs> Double dumb. Do I not have. I think I have. Damn it. Hey, Darth, welcome in. You just got here in time to watch Nafo kill himself. Yeah. That was stupid. I mean, it could have been worse. I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world, but I don't know why I just there's my memory right and my thinking is like i was distracted by you know i didn't even need to actually eat just figured oh, i'll drop the meat that i'm carrying that i didn't finish earlier and i'll eat that nope raw meat 
at least it was deer meat and not wolf meat because that would have been bad Yeah, I don't think there's a cache down here. I mean, is that a deer or a wolf way over there? That's a wolf. Tis a wolf. Get sick if you just eat cattails. Ah, yeah, that is actually a truth. <laughs> a strange one, but a truth nonetheless. Is no, it's just a nook. Is it a fishing area right here? Because that would be way too cool. Of course it's not. Because why would... Who would ever think to fish in a little nook like this? Um, Alright, we're heading towards the wolf. I'm going to keep the bow out. If there is a signal over there, we'll get the sound, so... It's going to be pretty late in the day when we get into uh, the musk egg. Where did that wolf get to? It's just not as fun without having the radio out. You need to have it out. That was lazy finger. <laughs> Where'd that wolf go? finding the wolf now as opposed to in the morning because it's going to be pretty late when we wake up okay there is no caches down here at least in this run there is not any it doesn't mean there's never one but it means right in this run there isn't you gotta take off all right i'm heard. Thanks for stopping by, and you have a great night. Yeah, I guess let's just go to bed. Uh, we'll look for that wolf, I guess, in the morning. Uh, well, in the afternoon. It won't be morning when we wake up. It'll be afternoon. And, yeah.
A foolish but not costly mistake. Minor dumbness, I guess. And depending on what time it is when we wake up, we might just spend the one more day here. Uh, we can fix, actually. We can fix our alertness. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not do that. Oh, you're still... Okay, oh, I don't need you anyway. Let's go over here. Uh, we need to drop the deer hide. And... We didn't have any stink. Let's do that. We'll do this. And 10 hours. Do that so we don't have to listen to her. Let's go look for our arrow. I think, I don't know, it's, it's, I think we have enough time. I'm not going to take the fish. You are cooked. I will eat you for sure. That gives us six full, no, actually that gives us Seven? No, that's six. Okay. Uh, counting issues. Uh, honestly, I got to take everything, so it doesn't matter. I don't need to search through there. Uh, water. How are we on water? 319. Let's take one more. Drop any of this gear. Oh, we're barely overweight. We're barely overweight. We only need one stick. Uh, everything in there is good. We don't need to take anything. We just need to go find that arrow and then... be on our way. Right. That is for the body. Last time I saw that wolf, he was over there. We have our bedroll. It's nice and sunny. Feels like plus two. And we're good in terms of afflictions. I'm just looking for crows. What's the wind? Minus 12. They should still be out. Those ones were. I would like my arrow. How many do we have? 24. Is that him right there? Never seen me use the uh, rock cache very much. No, I don't typically use it. Uh, but in this region, uh, like if I'm going to be staying over there, I'm just going to click on you for the sake of it. Um, there's 60 kilograms you can store at that place, but you need a fire to sleep. Uh, staying in the, uh, in the cave, there is no storage in there. Uh, and it wasn't terribly difficult to find 50 rocks out here, so. I think it's something I might do a little bit in the future. Not too, too much. There's Most areas have containers, but... It's not a bad idea. 
I'm not a big fan necessarily of how you get into them. I don't know why you have to click on it and then choose like to open it. But it is how it is. I think what they could do is just have it operate the way a regular container does where you click on it, you go into it. And on that screen, have an option to uh, dismantle it. You have to get back to playing the long dark someday. You're still stuck on light your frontier. I checked that out. It's I don't know if it's my thing. It's kind of like a mixture of two different genres, right? Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. It's it's one of those games, so it looks like one of those games. I bet you my brain is saying nah. But I bet you if I played it I would actually be like, oh. It's actually not bad. I mean this is one of those games where had I not seen it because of the art style, ironically, which is incredible, I would not have ever played this game. But seeing other people playing it, that was what made me actually play it. Just because at the time I was more into realistic graphics. Thought it was kind of dumb that I'm spending all this extra money. To play something that uh, I thought was was mediocre, but then once playing it, I'm like, wow, this is way way better than mediocre. This is actually incredibly nice and beautiful. Like, hello, Doe. Uh, we're gonna look for birch bark because one of us is an idiot and likes to do stupid things. Um, get your guesses in on which one of us is the idiot. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's probably me. Surrounded by snow. Oh, shut up. Oh, it's free? I'll try it. I'll try anything that's free. Um, how many feathers do we have? We have 75. Okay, I'm not going to take any. Um, kind of odd that I haven't searched that body yet. I'm pretty sure I've been here. Uh, where's the muskeg? Oh, we've only been here six days. No, I haven't. Alright. That's right. We went basically right to the bunker and, uh, the forge area, but not really anywhere else, aside from cutting through on the tracks. Uh, now, is there any moose markings? Do we even have a moose up here? I don't see any markings up here, so we don't have this guy. Those are all just bunnies. There's the ptarmigan over there. Am I going to switch to Will next run? Why? Do you want me to? I, I gave my reasons as to why I, I choose Astrid. I can give them again, though. When I look at Will and Astrid, Astrid looks like a tiny, petite person. Right? So when she 
I, I know why they complain, right? I mean, that's that's that was Hinterland's way of uh, giving you a heads up that you know you're too heavy or you're too cold or something, right? But my brain just has an issue with a guy that looks like he's a giant grumbling about how heavy something is that Astrid would also grumble about. But, you know, I have less issue when a tiny person like that grumbles uh, than I do with uh, a guy who looks to be quite a large person. But no, I'm not I'm not fed up with, with her. I just I just kinda make fun of her when she does her grumbling. I think I think a lot of people do it. Uh, I don't believe that they should ever get rid of that because oh my I will not say anything because oh two eight Yeah, they, they, they should not get rid of that because, I mean, that is the way they give us a heads up. If they got rid of that, we'd be like, hey, how come you didn't tell me I was cold? I want my money back. I froze to death. My run ended. But yeah, when they grumble, though, I will make fun of it and tell them to shut up. That's all. I'm not sure I'm caring much more. Fifty kilograms. Uh, let's go this way. I believe it's a nicer way down. Uh, we got three bars of scent. So. Keep our eyes peeled for wolves. I just wish it wasn't foggy. I don't like entering a region when you can't really see. Um, I'm going to go to the left. I think it's quicker to get to where we're going. Ah, what the hell? Let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. So we're going to go to the, uh, the homestead. Oh boy, you scared the hell out of me. You're way up there. We're going to go to the homestead, drop off a bunch of weight and some items we definitely don't need to carry around. Um, I won't lie, I don't like this terrain. Doink. What's the time? Oh, it's almost night time too. night time I think maybe let's let's go with the bow out uh, I have to be conscious of this too because it's pulling out this or this bow oh hey 29 um this bow is not going to be very much use to us when it ruins. 
We got to keep track of its uh, condition. I want to use it up, kind of, you know. And then we'll go back to the, uh, the wood rates bow. But man, would I love this weather to clear up. Okay, that's deer. How many sticks do we have? We have five. We don't, I don't think we need to collect any though, really, honestly. I think when we do finally get to the farm, oh, there's a, who are you after? I heard a bark in the distance. It's listening for a deer. I didn't hear one. That's what I think the bark was. It was the wolf going after one of the deer. This is one of the regions I think I really like to have visibility and a good visibility. I think those were just crows flying overhead. I think I'm just wondering where that wolf went to. there. Looks like I took a drink of my coffee right at the right time. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, I think that deer is a little too far to try to bring the wolf to him so doink this arrow doing All right. that one might break what was the other one at does it say it's a is that one percent i don't know what is it anything under ten percent has a shot of um ruining or is it anything i don't know we'll see oh there's the wolf Gotcha. Nope, a 19% wolf. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Ooh, we got a whole five kilograms. We can't leave it. <laughs> you just found a Cheerio on your key keyboard? Oh, Copper wants a stretch. Okay, sorry, I didn't see that. Let me pick my meat up. Because I want to make sure that I have three bars of scent when I'm stretching. Let me eat. Let's not eat the raw meat this time. Fill the belly. Hey coach, how are you doing bud? Welcome in. Alright, uh, let's pull you out. 
sketchy territory here. There you go. Thanks, copper. Why? 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 You were just in time to grade that stretch. <laughs> Pathetic. You, know, you might think it was pathetic, but I think it felt pretty good. We got three bars of scent. It's almost nighttime and yeah, no visibility, very little visibility. Now we have to basically go there. I think. Am I right or am I wrong? Or is it this way? Maybe it's more this way. I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to keep following the outer area here because can't see anything. I don't know if I'm walking directly towards a bear. Um, we got one memento. We got both. Okay. I think the smartest thing I could have done is actually just walked along the tracks because I know where I'm going and then I know when I get there just hang a right. Um, I think I might actually do that. Let's put this away. Because three bars of scent entering nighttime with very little visibility is not cool and we don't know the bear situation out here we can run and we have lots of alertness to run Let's do this, make sure it's loaded. What are you? Are you a piece of scrap metal? Let's take that. That might come in handy. I'm not telling y'all why. Why not go the back way? That way? Is that what you mean by the back way? Uh, just because I can't see. And I'm not an expert in this region, so I don't know where oh, oh, the thin ice and such is. Oh, that's not that. Is that going to be enough to distract them? No. Oh, he's going to charge. Yeah. 
And out of the fog comes the wacky bear. Oh boy. Just purring like a Plymouth. Well, I think we're starting to get the weather clearing up a little. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we found the bear. <laughs> Is this the nasty bear, like the, the sometimes invisible bear that came all the way from down yonder? Because usually when I encounter a bear over there, it's coming from this side. Was XM saying to go this way because I want to go right there? <laughs> when entering the Muskeg from Broken Railroad, you can go up the hill and over the tree log. Oh, he gave up on me, hey? I'm right here, bro. Well, we should be safe with the, the flare pistol. He is a nighttime bear. Is that a wolf? Oh, damn it. <laughs> These cattail heads. From a distance, I thought they were a wolf. Well, there's something I've never been alerted by. You're not, you're not sure where I'm going, so ignore you. I'm not going to ignore you. We are going to where the forge is. That's where we're going. But we have lots of alertness. And is he still following? Yeah, he's still following. I'm not against him following. I mean, he can do it. I mean, it's, sure, stalking is frowned upon, but he's a bear. And we're not. Uh, I kind of want to drag him this way, though. It's always nice to have company. Not wolf company, though. Oh, puppy. Oh, you're going to be one of those guys? Doink. Let's keep that out. Uh, was there rocks? Right. Damn it. He's getting closer. Uh, where'd those rocks go? I wanna... Okay, he knows. He knows about us. Oh, are you kidding me? I, I picked up that one rock and now I can't run.
That sucks. Uh, I can hear the chimpanzees now. Uh, this might be a good time. Do that. Make sure we don't lose. Uh, eat that. Just to make sure we can run. I see this is the thing, right? Like, I don't know where I can go in terms of the ice. Um, it feels like the game is continually pulling me. Yeah, please don't go in. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, thank you. Feels like the game is pulling me closer and closer to the middle rather than. I think I want to go actually right there. Uh, obviously XM's way might most likely have been the better route to take, but without being able to see there, um, is that a wolf? That is. of wolves down now my, okay i think i was going that way uh did we lose the bear i think we got ahead of him too far that's okay though i wish i, I could probably carry a rock at this point but i'm not gonna bother Yeah, I think I have to go that way. Follow your instincts, young Padawan. Uh, my instincts are saying aim for the white areas. Um, if we can get some running in... That would help. See, I think this is straight out from the, uh, like along the dock. That's where I think this is. But yeah, 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 there's the building. Okay, I know where I am. I know where I am. Uh, I'm just looking for the extra scrap metal. I don't think there is any here anymore. And maybe if we're lucky, maybe uh, all these wolves. I was looking at that. Uh, maybe all these wolves are the ones that are normally around the barn or the structure, whatever you want to call it. Where'd that bear go? 
I do think that that wasn't this bear. I think that was the 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 rail car bear. I think. Ooh, the skies have cleared. There's still lots of time for an aurora tonight. you right when I wanted to have a peek. <laughs> All right, I think we're safe. Uh, we will stay in the bunker. We will drop what we can here and then head over there. Uh, ski jacket. I have blue tools. I don't have red is what it's looking like. That's all uncooked meat. Are you all point fives? Let's go up here. <laughs> Well, apparently, those wolves were not the ones from over here. Is that him? Is that the one that's coming? Was that this one that barked while he was charging, or was that another one? I'm gonna say it was this one. Let's do that. Do that. We'll leave that in there, I guess. Uh, there's probably some on the ground. Um, let's leave that in, uh, nah, we don't leave those there. Let's go over here. We're gaining temperature, so it's not that bad. There are no real structures in the muskeg, and you're never safe in the long dark. I... Agreed. <laughs> um, oh, okay. You are cooked meat. What do we have on us? We do have cooked meat. Let's do that. We will drop the venison right here. Except for that point five. I want to keep that one separate. You're one kilogram. All three of you are one kilogram. Magically, when you drop these like that, they all go into one pile. I'm going to put it up here so I... Uh, I mean, that thing, it, it doesn't exactly stick out, right? Uh, sticks. We only had eight. Uh, we do have four birch, though. That's good. Oh, that needs to go in there. Um, you can stay behind. You can stay. In the morning we have this. I ha Okay, well, let's not make that mistake again. Uh, 
Uh, we have hides, but those have to go with us to the bunker. And I think everything that we have on us has to come with us, right? I mean, you can stay. Okay, yeah, you guys can stay. Those can stay. Uh, arrow shafts can stay. And feathers. Okay, let's go. And we have lots of water. 318, yeah. Pull that out. Oh wait, we still have the two bows. I'll leave it in the bunker. This bad one. And I'm gonna run. And get rid of some of this alertness. Uh, maybe we get lucky and we wake up in the morning. Maybe. I think that's it for the running. Just a wee bit further. This is where a bear comes from around the corner. It's like, how you doing? We might need those. I'm gonna be cocky. I'm gonna put that away. I can just go in here and turn the corner. Charcoal. Where's the bed? Isn't it right here? Okay. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, damn. I was right there. Um, let's use our own bed. Can you go on top? That would be way too cool. I would like have a mattress. Uh, cushy. There we go. Uh, and we didn't have any. Okay, no, no. Everything's good. Everything's good. Okay, let's go. Alright, 10 hours. I think it, it'll be before noon at least, right? That actually was perfect timing. We'll eat that. And we'll drink that. So, shall we... Go harvest those wolves in point five? I would rather do a deer like that. Uh, that way if I do something stupid like eat the meat again uh, we just get a tummy ache rather than start knocking on death's door <laughs> thanks for that coach I needed a little wake me up. Do we have any deer down here? Uh, we, I think we harvested that one up there. We really do not need sticks. We have lots of wood over here. As I pick up sticks. <laughs> no deer.
Well, yeah, what I want is three bars of scent that doesn't weigh us down, right? I don't want to waste deer meat by doing it in point fives. But I don't want the risk of doing that with the wolf. Um, just because it's going to annoy Jesus me to have one. Cold. Uh... All right. Oh, hey, look at you. Oh, you probably got blown out. That's why. Okay, that's fine. Be that way. Okay, there's 1.5. We need to go get a deer. You know what? There's three bars and we're still well underweight, so it's not a big deal. I'm not touching that feather. <laughs> Alright. Time to clear out the predators. We should actually go inside and warm up. Makes more sense, don't it? Take one of those. Uh, start a fire with that. Hopefully one. I mean, we can cook some meat while we're warming up too. Cook one piece. One little fire. That should be more than enough. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. 46 minutes. Oh, that's still not doing it for us. There we go. Still only one bar. Oh, we got two bars now. Okay, whatever. I can handle that one. Uh, let's pick those up and just throw them right here. Oh. Let's uh, take you out. This is all our scrap metal pile, so. All right, as we get over here. Now, thanks, smart guy. Drops that. Oh, I don't have the, uh, I don't have any of you. That's all my cooked meat. They're all cooked. Yeah. Okay. We're good. I kind of wanted to have the scent. But at the same time, I didn't. Let's do that. Uh, we got more than enough time. I guess you know what we can do is craft up uh, you and I'll craft up the rose hips and then we're gonna heat one of them up probably now uh, we'll just heat up the mushrooms There we go. Take our pot. Do 
208. That's more than enough. All right, we got three bars of scent. We got a bear somewhere. We got wind. Let's go this way. Surely I can learn how to get from there to here. Right? During the daytime. In reverse. I hope. <laughs> Let's go this way. Just wondering if I should be grabbing sticks. Probably, right? Why not? Take those. Next Sam's burn. What's that? Is that just a rock? Is it a wolf I forgot about? Where's the bear? Uh, let's grab more mushrooms, why not? Mushrooms and sticks. Let's take those. Uh, if there's three on this one, I'll take the three and that'll be it for mushrooms for now. That's more than enough. It's just for hot drinks, so. And well, I guess it's also for when uh, your host decides to eat raw meat. <laughs> Don't tell Murd. <laughs> Let him find out for himself. Somebody broke this tower. Nobody has any respect for things these days. Uh, I'm going to go up here. Periodically, I'm going to stop and have a listen for the bear. Yes, dang kids. Oh, hello, 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 hello. We'll take these. Why not? Uh, this is where we find out that bear knows this way too. <laughs> I am very interested in learning this way. I'm sure I've come this way in the past, but as with everything, it's probably been a long time ago and I usually don't come from this direction and completely forgot about it. But I am very grateful that you brought it up, XM, because 
for the longest time I thought my only way around that was you know finding the the non thin ice the thicker ice Um, I think I want to have this out just in case because I don't know what to expect. There's, uh, there's the bear. And I got three rocks. Um, bonus points for anybody that can tell me positively whether or not that bear can cross this log or not. Did I just honestly say whether or not he can cross the log or not? <laughs> what is right there? And we got chickens over there. Um. Oh my, we got bullets, we got a revolver. And uh, we'll check the revolver for bullets. There is none. We'll take your feathers, boy. Run, chickens, run. Hi. <laughs> He's like, hey, wait, I'm itchy. <laughs> All right. Would you like to sit on my shoulder? Oh, hello, hello. I don't know the route up here. That is like, this is my problem, right? I don't know where that bear might come up. Surely if we can come up here, he can come up here. Uh, it's probably over there, I guess, maybe. But bears don't necessarily follow the rules as we found out in Broken Railroad when he scaled the cliff. You've never seen a bear up here, but that's just you. I don't think I've ever seen a bear up here either. But have you ever been up here with three bars of scent and a bear down below? Where is he? Like I've lost track of where he actually is. be interesting if you could see his footprints down there, eh? Where did he go? Is that him way out there? Nope. I think that's a uh, I think that's a tree stump. You don't try to lure the bear like I do. <laughs> My guess is that he would come around here and go around there and somewhere over here he might be able to get up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I am a little bit worried when I lose track of where he is. I'm not hearing crows either. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Not those ones. The ones that accompany the bear. Is he maybe down in there? Uh. 
I don't see him nowhere. Where did he go? He could also be just out of sight and just kind of walking in place. Um, but yeah, I'm still curious as to how do... How does one get up here? When they're down there, how does one get up here? Maybe... Oh! Found it. Well, a bear can get up here. <laughs> Where did he go? Is he nibbling on this guy? Well, I found where he... Oh, there he is. He's... Oh, there's the answer to that. He can, in fact, cross the log. Um... Is there a way I can get myself on the other side of him? If I do that, where are you going to go? Wait, see him. Okay, he's still coming. I want to try to lure him a little bit further over there with a rock. Yeah. Oh, he's going for my meat, damn it. <laughs> hey. Get away from my meat. Alright. Do you want a spicy lunch? Oh boy, that had me worried. <laughs> that had me worried. That was a hit, by the way. I don't care what anybody says. Even though my flare is here and he's way over there. Uh, I got one rock. Yeah, well, we've learned a lot. Well, I have learned a lot in this stream. I learned that I can come up here. I not only learned that, I learned where I could come up here. I learned that the bear can also come up here and I learned that the bear can cross that there log and that he has a uh... some kind of immunity to these things but you know what we got what we wanted we're on this side of them <laughs> I don't like to hear that while I'm in that screen. I would rather hear it whilst I'm in this one. What do you got? 483. This is the one. This is the proper way to eat. Don't eat the way I eat because I'm a dummy. Let's take him for a walk. Let's get him closer to where we live. defense is rancid meat. Yeah, don't take my scent. <laughs> oh, I must. Come on, Mr. Ray. If he can stick, if he can get his fat butt past there, how come I can't? I'm offended. Come on, 
Mr. Bear. Well, I can legit say I've never lured, lured a bear this way. I wonder what would happen if you dropped him right on the log. Would he stay on there or would he fall to the bottom? That was kind of cute. I thought he was about to sit. <laughs> Alright, and there we have the correct way to get onto the log. because now I lose sight of him and wow he got all the way up here before I started to turn around ooh you think I'm safe no no chance probably break my leg getting off of there Did I just screenshot that? Yes. <laughs> it's a bear on the log. Oh, and there's one of these up here. That do a do my hickey. Just think, we only have to take them all the way over there. <laughs> right around there. This might be my furthest uh, lure. Which, which isn't exactly something that's like, oh my god, he went all that way. It's more or less like you had the patience to do that. Because it's not hard. The hardest part about doing this is, is being able to uh, just put up with how long it's going to take. Maybe we take them down at the at the tower. I don't know. Uh. I'll make sure he didn't lose interest. about the long walk isn't it down below this or is it over in the corner right of the tower oh okay oh damn that's what we did not want oh I probably just totally attracted that wolf closer <laughs> Little wolf, we have bigger problems than you. Doink. 
I thought this was uh when we went past it, I thought this was a, a transition. Is this just a regular cave? I wanna throw another rock that way because I wanna make sure he doesn't <gasps> turn around. Oh, that's like the center fielder arm. He's still coming? Oh, there he is. All right, let's get in there. Well, the good news is we're gaining temperature now. I don't want to get too far ahead of him, though, because if he turns around, it sucks. We have to be conscious of the fact that we could also be attracting more wolves. Before. No, we haven't. Wow. Okay. Out. Where is he? How far? <laughs> He's like, nope, I want you. I got lucky there. I thought no chance would we ever be able to sneak by him. That was a yeah. That was, that was a good cave. The the beauty of the cave is even though there wasn't really anything in there for us. Uh, we got three bar three arrows up on our temperature when we went in there, so we we gained a lot of our temperature real quick. Think I can hit him? I think I did. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just say I did. I don't know. Y'all can say what you want. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bear. Okay, I got my coffee in my hand. I hope he doesn't charge. There we go. Isn't this fun? He sounds ferocious when he roars like that. Free coffee gulp, yeah. Not a slurp though, but you got you got part of it. Every once in a while I'll throw a freebie out there, I don't care. I'll do it. Twelve sticks. eating from the wheel when I only have like you know I don't I know I only have that one piece that's edible but uh, when I have multiple edible pieces you know me I don't like uh, I like to eat the one that's gonna show up first you know 
That way it's just easier on my eyes and my brain. Come on, bear. It's just a little ways longer. Let's take them. Let's take them here. Let's not get too far ahead. I don't have any more rocks to lure them with. Did he just go silent? There you go. You know, at some point, I'm going to have to take a shot at him with the bow. At some point. I would love to be doing this one time and have like the other bear appear as well. There's no wolves anywhere around this, uh, this barn, this shack. Let's call it a shack. Why is he turning? Is he going to come all the way around here instead of just, you know? There you go. Come on. Oh, he just like morphed right through it. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Because you get into this spot and now you can't really. He has to come up this hill. I wonder if I'm on this side. I believe I'm safe inside there, right? But if I'm on this side, I'm still outside. He can still get to me, so he won't stop coming. And <clears throat> I can probably get him a little bit closer. Oh boy. Why is he going there? That is bear 34. 
Now it's just a matter of how far is he gonna go. That's too bad. That would have been perfect to take him down right there. Now he's gonna run 87 miles away. So long, buddy. I just try and keep an eye on him. Okay, he's... Is that him right there? Yeah, yeah, he stopped. Do we take Murd's word for it? Two headshots will definitely drop him. Does that one count as a headshot? Yeah, he just totally undid that entire walk. But, you know, we still have three bars of scent. It's windy. It's minus 18 on the wind. Provided he doesn't go down, he should still come in this direction. He's number 34. So we don't necessarily have to go out there and lead him over here, but Murphy seemed very certain. Yeah, that is true. The thing with it, though, is you have to be sure that your shot was a headshot and that it didn't count as, like, say, a neck shot or something. This is the trail. He's down. Bear down, bear down. But it's nighttime. I think we'll just go. Well, no, we don't even have an arrow in him because it broke. So that's good. We'll just go confirm where exactly he's down. I have an idea. I mean, this should be pretty basic, but... Let's do that. And kind of mark the path a little bit. I think it's this away. for crossing. I mean, it should be pretty basic because it's kind of snowy the whole way. I I thought that was a wolf coming this way. I'm going to keep the bow out right now, though. I'm going to grab four of you guys, put at the other side. Oh, that better not be thin ice. It can't be thin ice, right? He can't walk on it, so... Therefore, he can't die on it. Let's make sure we got some run. I'm gonna try. <laughs> We're gaining temperature. This is... We don't have scent on us. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. 
This might be stupid. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, apparently I don't have my sled on me. I wasn't really intending on but I mean, we got we got the guts and we got the hide. Just making sure. I thought I heard sounds. And this is our path. Yeah, I really shouldn't need this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep the bow out because we do have that revolver that I got to get rid of. And copper wants a stretch. All right. Gonna hit the nice. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't. There we go. Thanks, Copper. I'm gonna drop two sticks. I only have two rocks. I would like to have another one just so that. It kind of resembles the other one, but I mean, what the hell? I got spray paint. I could just point an arrow right there and do it smarter. There we go. I feel better about myself. I'm not. <laughs> That's not where I marked it. Where did I mark it? I'm not going to take all day to find it. I have no idea. Whatever. Let's pick that up. I'll mark it the next time I see it. I might actually mark it with paint because you can see it better. Easier. Uh, do we need food? We can go grab a piece of meat, I think. Uh, we'll obviously drop the, uh, the scent meat. And we will go back up to the, the bunker. Is that cooked meat is up here you're full kilogram yes you are actually let's oh you're ruined I'll do that and we'll take another one take a piece of water a piece of water yes that's what we're gonna take and we're gonna run because the weather looks like it's changing Hopefully Glastra doesn't break her wrist up this hill. I would actually be less bothered by her breaking her wrist up there than like while while she's running up a hill like that than I than on some of the other ones where you're like, really? Right there? Really? Running up a snowy hill is not exactly the easiest thing to do. Sometimes. Let's run though. We need to, what is the time? Ah, we got a little bit before. Eh, what the hell. Alright, uh... 
Let's do this. We'll drop the guts. Um, drop the guts right here. Relocating the other ones, obviously. There we go. That's a nicer pile. Uh, we just have we have a bear. And there we go. We got the bear hallway. Is it all nice here too? Not really. Let's uh, rotate it this way. Actually, I liked it better the other way. Eh, let's just leave it. Okay, you are maples. Drop the maple there, we'll drop those can go there. Um I think that's about it for nothing in there. Okay. And we'll put our bedroll down. I'd rather sleep on the bedroll than on that cheap mattress. Uh, let's just drink up. I think we'll end this here as well. So for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.